We need another wake-up call. We should all be wide awake to the threat of this virus. Omicron has now been detected in at least 24 countries around the world, according to the World Health Organization, WHO. We don't yet know whether Omicron is associated with more transmission, more severe disease, more risk of reinfections, or more risk of evading vaccines. South Africa was the first country to detect the highly mutated new variant. Its National Institute for Communicable Diseases, NICD, has said more than 70% of all the various genomes it sequenced last month have been of the new variant. We should all be wide awake to the threat of this virus. But Omicron's very emergence is another reminder that although many of us might think we're done with COVID-19, it's not done with us. India, Ghana, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates are among the latest countries to have confirmed their first cases of Omicron. Others, including the UK, US and Germany, have also seen people infected by the new variant. Many questions about Omicron remain to be answered, including how much protection the current vaccines provide. The World Health Organization has categorized it as a variant of concern and says early evidence suggests it has a higher reinfection risk. Earlier this week, countries around the world restricted travel from Southern Africa as details of the spread emerged. This prompted South Africa's foreign ministry to complain that it was being punished instead of uploaded for discovering Omicron. South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa also said he was deeply disappointed by the travel bans which he described as being unjustified. We are deeply disappointed by the decision of several countries to prohibit travel from a number of Southern African countries, including our own. The new infections are driving what is now the beginning of a fourth wave of coronavirus in South Africa, and the National Health Department says there has also been a slight increase in hospital admissions.